Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to explore the world of speed reading. Speed reading is the thing that I learned around a couple of years ago and it changed my life. I was always a fan of reading. I used to like read books a lot, especially when I was a kid. However, the busier my life became, the less time I actually had to read and I was always feeling really frustrated about it because I love books, but I always felt like I never had time to read all of the books that I wanted to. So I heard about speed reading and then I started actually exploring how it works. And then obviously I learned the techniques of like how to use it in real life. And I summarized the seven best techniques that helped me. And I'm gonna share them with you in this video and I'm hoping that it would be helpful for you as well. An average person usually reads with the speed of 200 words per minute. And if you want to understand it in the context a little bit better, for example, the last book of um, Harry Potter has 198,227 words. So with the average speed of reading, you would need around 16 and a half hours to finish the whole book. However, if you can increase your speed to 500 words per minute, then you would finish the whole book in six hours. Imagine you basically just gave yourself extra 10 hours of like free time and you still read the book and you still understood everything that was mentioned in the book. And yes, I know it doesn't sound real and um, a lot of people are saying that speed reading actually affects the quality so that you don't understand as much of the material that you're reading. However, it only happens usually when you're starting to learn. When you're learning these techniques, yes, your the quality of the understanding of the material will decrease. However, once you understand how it works and you practice enough, it will be very easy and you will actually still understand the material, but just read quicker. And even if it sounds like it's a lot, 500 words per minute, it's actually not. I know people uh, can read with like 1000 words per minute and even more. However, we don't want to become like number one person in speed reading. We just want to use this technique to help us in our everyday life. So as I mentioned, I have listed seven main techniques that help me and I think they might help us, um, and I think they might help you as well. However, the main thing with this is that you need to practice. Just because you read how speed reading techniques work, but you actually don't use them, nothing is gonna change in your world. Nothing is gonna change in your life. But with each technique that um, I'm gonna be telling you about, you would need to spend around three days um, just to practice. So you need to read like 100 pages of book with each technique, just to kind of master it and understand how it works. And um, do not worry if in the beginning you kind of losing the context of what you're reading. As I mentioned, when you're learning the techniques, you don't worry about the text and the meaning behind the text. You just need to master the techniques. And once it all settles down in your brain, you'll be able to use the techniques and still read and understand the text. Another thing to note is that if you are talking in two languages, or for example, if uh, you live in a country where you speak English most of the time, however, your native language is different. This was the case for me. Even that I'm fluent in English and I usually speak quite fine. I mean, I do make mistakes, but the majority of people do make mistakes. And even that in my normal life, I read books in English. When I was learning how to speed read, I was using books in Russian, just because you're already like putting a lot of pressure on your brain and on your focus. And you need to be able to understand everything very easily. And even if you're fluent in English, there will still be words that you might not know or you're not sure about. So my advice is to start these techniques in your own language and then switch to another language if that's the language that you usually use. And also for the purposes of just learning the techniques, it's better to use the paper book, like the real book, instead of uh, Kindle or anything else, just because it will be a lot easier, plus you'll be able to use like things like pencil or like a piece of paper to help you with these techniques. And um, it's also advisable to use like a fiction book, so don't use some self-help or psychology or business book. Just take some fiction book that you always wanted to read, because it will also be easier to like just catch the story from there, because in business books sometimes you need to understand like each sentence in detail. Obviously, it's always good to like understand what your beginning result is and what your ending result would be. So you can start by measuring your test at the website that I will link down below. Um, try to do that test just reading in normal speed as you would usually do in your normal life. And then do this test again in two weeks and see the result. When I started learning all these techniques, my reading speed was 280 words per minute in Russian. 
and now while I was kind of making this video, I did this test again and my current speed is 590 words per minute in English. So first it's a huge increase in general in the reading speed, but I also managed to do it in English. So seven techniques, let's get to it. First thing that you need to do is to teach yourself not to reread. Because usually what we do is we read the sentence, we read the next sentence and then we jump back because sometimes we think we got distracted or we were not paying too much attention or we just want to read like in one concise kind of flow. But it takes a lot of our time and it also allows us to not concentrate on the text because you know if that if anything happens, you always can jump back. But if you push yourself not to reread, you will be able to focus more on the text that is written in front of you and it will also save you a lot of time. So what um, I did, I was like using a piece of paper just to cover the lines and then as soon as I would go from this line to this line, I would cover the previous line. And this way you just don't have the option to reread it because it's literally covered with the paper. Another possible strategy is basically just to use the pencil and go line by line and um, you make sure that you move the pencil quite quick so that your eyes have to follow the pencil and you need to be able to like constantly move in your pencil and your eyes from one line to another. Second technique is that we need to learn how to read phrases instead of separate words. We are used to read the sentences word by word. However, our eyes are actually capable of catching more than one word at a time. So it's very important to try practicing it and the way I was doing it and it was a good technique. I was drawing the lines in the text, catching like two, three, four words together and not trying to catch them as phrases, but like randomly putting the lines in the text so that when I would read, I would have to kind of catch the whole phrase at a go and not like one word, one word, one word. So basically, obviously you cannot draw the lines on 50 pages that you would be practicing on. Do it for like two, three pages, just so that you understand. And then try to read more pages, just already using your eyes to catch three words at the same time and not just like focusing on one word. And the third technique is kind of linked to the previous one. As I mentioned, we can see more than just one word or like just one thing in the center of our attention. So we need to develop our peripheral vision just to make sure that we can also see with the with the corners of our eyes and while it seems surreal but like now i can still see my you can see that my eyes go straight in the camera but i can still see my hands in here which is like a huge space from the center so obviously if we think about the book we would be able to see even more on on a line without having to constantly move our eyes from left to right and the great tool to practice this uh, peripheral vision is Schulte tables. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name correct, to be honest, but uh, I'll put the name down below as well in the description. Basically, it's a table. I will put the picture somewhere here with the numbers. Um, usually it's a table five by five. And the idea is, is that you need to find the numbers from one to 25 in ascending order or in descending order, whichever way you want to. However, you can only keep your eyes on the middle column. So you can move your eyes up and down and then you have to use your peripheral vision to find the numbers on the sides of the box. In the beginning, it seems really, really difficult. However, once you'll be doing them every day for like three, five, seven minutes, you will see that it's getting easier and easier. There are a lot of apps for the phones. There are also like a lot of just websites where you can find them so you can train every day. And if you manage to like train your peripheral vision to like a really good standard, like high standard, you'd be able to catch eight, nine words at the same time. Imagine how, like basically you'll be able to see the whole line in the book in one go. You won't be needing to like spend time going from left to right. You'll be just reading line, 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 line. And also with the shoulder tables, you can add a speed element to it. So for example, when I was doing it, I was trying to like, okay, I need to find all numbers in 30 seconds. Then I'd be like, okay, now I need to find all the numbers in 25 seconds. However, don't worry about the speed that as much because it's mostly for you to train the vision and not the speed. So if you can't do it in time, it's okay. As long as you make sure that you still use the same technique that your eyes don't move from the center. Technique number four is to learn how to do line scheming. So usually the way we read is we read the first word, the second word, the third word, the fourth word, and so on. Line scheming is when you 
kind of glance through the whole line in the book without focusing on any single word so you kind of just like slide in through the line and then you do the slide in the next line slide in the next line in the beginning it seems really really difficult and you feel like you don't understand anything that's in there to make it a little bit easier what you can do is like focus on the first word like proper focus on it and then skim the whole line focus on the word on the next line skim the line focus skim focus skim once you master this technique you'll be able to do the whole skimming in a go another technique is to stop mentally pronouncing this is like one of the biggest issues that we have when we are reading because we are so used to having like our own inner voice reading the words because what we do we mentally pronounce every word that we read in our head and it limits our reading speed a lot because we cannot talk as quick as we could read potentially so we need to get rid of this habit the way we usually understand the information that we read which means we see the word then we mentally pronounce it then we hear it and then we understand so we need to get rid of this middle block so we just need to be read understand read understand and again it doesn't mean that you need to get rid of this completely in 100 percent however if you even cut it down by 50 percent it will already help you a lot and the way to do this and it's very very confusing in the beginning is that while you're reading you also need to be trying to do something else with your mental voice in your head so you can either do like one two three four one two three four while reading or you can be singing some of your song in your head or like just saying blah 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 but like you need to make sure that your inner voice doesn't say the things that you see in the book you need to separate those two things out another tool that you can use to learn speed reading not it's not like a technique it's more than a tool that will help you is to use the metronome now there are a lot of apps that you can use as a metronome they literally called metronome basically it does like a counting according to the speed that you would want to have like beats per minute so you can set the speed of the metronome to whichever speed you want to start with and then every time it clicks you need to make sure you're already on the next line it clicks you're on the next line clicks on the next line so you can start with um, the speed of anything to like 65 to 70 beats per minute and then make sure that you can cope with this speed and then increase it slowly and also you with metronome the thing is that you have to feel uncomfortable you have to feel like you have to rush 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 once you rush 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 for like 10 pages at the speed of 70 you move the speed up to 90 and then you rush again and this way you kind of just putting yourself into an uncomfortable position where you have to read quicker and in the beginning again it feels like you don't understand anything however the more you practice the easier it will be and then sometimes what I would do, I would just put myself in a completely crazy situation. I would put metronome at 130, which means I would be doing like... <laughs> Obviously, at that point, you can't understand anything, but you just train in your brain that it can be quicker, it can be quicker, it can be quicker. And then when you go back to 90, after doing it at 130, it feels like really slow. And then you read just comfortably at that speed. And if you read at the speed of around 80 beats per minute, it means that your reading speed is around 500 words per minute. And the last technique is um, skipping the beginning and the end of the page. So I would put like a screenshot somewhere here the way I would do it. So what you would need to do is start reading from like third word and then finish around two words before the line ends. Because again, our peripheral vision can see those words. So we don't actually need to start from this word because then our peripheral vision wouldn't be using anything on this side. So we start here and then let's say let's, there are two words in here. So our peripheral vision would catch this, you would read through the line and you would stop here while there are still two, three words in the end. But our peripheral vision will catch those words again. So you're literally just reading the middle part of the text and then skipping the endings. So these were the main techniques that helped me to get to the speed of 590 words per minute. And again, it's not magic, it's literally practice. So you need to make sure you practice every day for like 20, 30 minutes. You need to make sure you do shorter tables for like three, five, seven minutes every day. And you need to practice each technique separately. And then once you will start to be more good at those techniques, they will all kind of come together and you will just understand that you can read quicker and quicker and quicker. Um, and to be honest, yes, that was it. I hope this was helpful. Again, please don't worry if it doesn't work for you on the first go, on the second go, you need at least like two weeks of proper practice just to get better and better and better and better. And again, it doesn't mean that if you read 
at this speed you will always be reading like this because sometimes people are saying no but i just like to read for late like as a fun or just as a way to relax if you just want to like chill on the sofa and read slowly you can still read slowly it's not like you will forget how to do that however for the things where you need to like read a lot um if you're doing a lot of reading for your work or if you're doing the, like a lot of research you know anything it just helps you to read so much quicker and also if you have a lot of like business books that you would want to read like that's what i'm doing a lot it just helps you to go through the books a lot quicker while still understanding the material i hope this was helpful i'm wishing you a good day and if you use these techniques just let me know in the comments if it worked for you thank you bye bye